What's going on guys? It's your boy John and Liquidator coming back with another video. So it looks like we got a huge Kelsey Mitchell update and what things are currently looking like for head coach Christie Sides. Guys, for this one here, we gotta go all the way up to Indy. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> people been wondering what is going on with head coach Chrissy Sides, bro. Will she be there for the 2025 season? And as of right now, the way it sit, I am here to tell you, Christy Sides is about 80% possibly going to be the coach for the Indiana Fever going into this upcoming season. Now, I know what y'all is thinking, John, how there is just no way. Well, according to the president, according to what Land Dunn said, and members of the Indiana Fever organization, they rocking out with Christy Sides. It is what it is, bro. They is basically saying that they knew that Christy Sides got dealt a bad hand in those first 10 games or so because they had to play the top teams in the country. They're not holding that against her as a coach. When me personally, I feel like we should not go off this season. We should go off last season before y'all got the best damn player on the board. Now, granted, yes, Christy Sides did turn the season around doing the halfway mark. But let's all keep it 100. They only won those games because Kayla Clark got the rest she needed. She had been playing basketball for a whole year straight. Kayla Clark was the orchestrator out there. Now, you finna get credit for all the damn work Kayla Clark did? Are you serious? Check out what the president had to say. Roll the footage, man. Waiting everything, just kind of looking back on this season, last season, kind of from across the street, just how would you evaluate Christy's side and kind of her performance as a first-time head coach so far? Yeah, I mean, you know, the, what a what a roller coaster uh, ride for her. You know, um, I was smart enough to know that the, the schedule was stacked against a, a young team early in the season, and, and um, the way that the, they weathered the storm, got into a groove, you know, after the Olympic break. I mean, I think she finished 18 and 12, you know, after those first 10 games, and then of course went seven and four in the last 11, and three of those losses were against teams in the finals. So. Um, for a young team to make that kind of progress, I mean, it's hard to not be impressed. I think the the outside noise, what she had to endure as a coach, and what they had to endure as a staff to keep that team focused and together. I mean, it takes time. I, you know, <clears throat> it took a long time for for teams that I had to to gel and to get together. I mean, years. You know, it doesn't happen in four months. It happens. It takes a few years. So. And so basically, she's saying the progress that she made in the last four months is contribution to justifying keeping her as a coach. My God, bro. Now, we all seen what happened this season. We all seen what transpired. Now, bro, if the season go as a flop next year, who we going to blame? Christy Sides. We don't have no other choice, bro, because we seen the mistakes that was being made. We seen the bad decisions that was being made. Now, I know Kelly no ball, bro, but you cannot sit up here and give this credit to Christy Sides for what Kayla Clark did, bro. I got to hold these people accountable because no one else will, bro. Christy Sides had the first round draft pick to even get Kayla Clark in the beginning, bro. You want to know why? Because she was trash the year before they got Kayla Clark. You had a little Boston and Kelsey Smith. Let's all keep it a hundred. You did nothing, bro. You did nothing. You want nothing, bro. But now, since you get Caitlin Clark, you get to keep your job. And oh my God, Christy, like the best coach in the world. When they all forgot the year before, they was trash, bro. And I'm going to keep re-exhilarating that. We got to go off the year before, bro. Christy Sides is getting the credit that Caitlin Clark basically gave her because she got the rest she needed, bro. Now, all of a sudden, Christy Sides look like Phil Jackson out here on the coaching trail, bro. Moving on to another story that is Kelsey Mitchell. Now, we know the president talked about Kelsey Mitchell earlier. When new information is coming out, what Kelsey Mitchell is currently doing during this offseason, let's play what the president had to say. Roll the footage, man. You know, players, uh, I, I would imagine that third being Kelsey Mitchell. If you can just kind of take me through uh, where and how you think uh, that negotiation uh, is likely to go. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, Kelsey, I mean, I'll start with Kelsey Mitchell. She, you know, she was. Uh, a player that was drafted in the last group that I was part of. So Pokey Chapman was our coach and GM. I went to see Kelsey play at USA Basketball in Santa Barbara um, at one of their workout camps, and I called 
Pokey, and I said, I'm, I'm watching our draft pick right now. I mean, she's, <laughs> she's going to be a star, this, this player. I mean, she's going to be a dynamic guard for us for years to come. So, um, you know, we wouldn't be where we are today um, without Kelsey Mitchell. I mean, she's clearly a, a, a very foundational piece. Um, she's got seven years of being in and out of this building. She went through a lot. Um, as we were preparing to, to be even better, as a better place to play, a new new practice court, a new um, arena, you know, all the all the remodels. I mean, Kelsey went through all of that, and she was she got better. She she never put her head down. She kept playing hard and did everything she could. So she's extremely important to the success of, of this of the future. Um, we intend to, you know, have lots of conversations and make sure she knows that. But I think she does know that. And look, Amber and I, you know, we're, we're both, you know, as general managers, she's going to be doing a lot of the day-to-day the -day groundwork. Um, you know, for me, you know, we're both going to be talking to agents. We're both going to be talking to the team. Um, we'll, we'll be making those basketball decisions together. But, um, uh, you know, and certainly have our scouts out and, and making sure that we're covering what we need to cover. But Now, that was to prejudice speaking about Kelsey Mitchell and her future. Like I stated before, bro, it's looking like they're going to keep Kelsey Mitchell. But as of right now, Kelsey Mitchell was actually in China gearing up to play in a whole other league. It's being reported that Kelsey Mitchell and Alyssa Smith will play in China league offseason. Timmy will play in Turkey. Caitlin has no offseason plans. And Lexi Hall and Grace Berger return to Athletics Unlimited. Leah Boston to PK. Look like no fever are going to be playing in the unrival league. Now we know that is the league of Brianna Stewart. Nobody from Kayla Clark team has signed up for that league yet. Now Kelsey Mitchell was also joining forces with Olivia Nelson in the WCBA league. That is the Chinese league. And uh look like now Lisa Smith will be joining them as well. So I know a lot of people was making videos talking about they leaving. They're not leaving the team. This is normal. This is what these ladies do. Once the season is over, they head overseas, pick up another bag because we all know they're not making the money they need to make playing in the United States. So unfortunately, with the way things are, with the landscape of the WNBA, they have to take their talents overseas to pick up the proper adjustments. Now, when those ladies go overseas, then they are acclimated with the million-dollar contracts, getting the money they properly deserve. Deserve. But as of right now, I'm just letting you know what is currently going on with Kayla Clark team is they will be headed overseas. Two of them so far. No other ones has been announced yet, but definitely get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. And this do not mean that Kelsey Mitchell is leaving the team. She's just going overseas to pick up another bag. But like always, man, until next time, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Shake the haters.